welcome back to Empire Total War with Darth Maud. Last time around, I think we fought. Where did we fight? We fought. <laughs> we fought. We fought in North America against the Cherokee. But now we're in the Mediterranean, and this is part of my plan to invade the Ottoman Empire. They're clearly too strong. Both the navy and just the landmass they control. They need to be taken down a peg. And this will give me um, um, the opportunity to take some regions of them that I need to win the campaign. First off though, in this operation, is to make a base by attacking Tripoli. Now as you can see, Tunisia has actually fallen to Sweden. I believe Sweden actually somehow managed to trade it for something, or bought it, or whatever they do, since they seem to be ending up with territories a bit here and there, which is rather strange. Anyways, Edward Braddock and his army is going to march on Tripoli and attack that. And you know what? Without further ado, let's go ahead and do that. Quite interesting detail of this is the fact that the uh, they turned up some Bedouins, well, a few camel riders, and actually took the for uh, the port behind Braddock, because I landed in the port behind them there. Can't remember what that town is called, uh, but we landed there, and as soon as we marched away from it, suddenly these um, camel riders turned up from nowhere and took that region or not the region they took the port again so um, Braddock was kind of trapped and technically wouldn't be able to supply himself properly through there unless the ships could um, unload somewhere else but an interesting detail nonetheless right and so here we have the army composition Let's start off with what we have right here in reserve, which are the Royal Irish. Which I've got quite a few regiments, as you can see. In front of them, we've got the uh, British Fusiliers. We've seen them before. Next to them is the Coldstream Guard, which is a new unit that we haven't seen before that um, I could recruit in Scotland and we got those there. Here's the cavalry, we got the two uh, Royal Horse Guards or Coazier and behind them we've got the Hussars, the Hussars being uh, one of the new units that I haven't recruited before. Over here we have the um, Black Watch similar to the other island unit but a bit different. The thing is, I can't exactly recall how the other one looks. So, but it's a bit different. So I can uh, different. I can tell you that there's a few things that makes it different. Uh, and over on this side, we have the Scottish or the Royal Highland Grenadiers which is also in the unit and the two Scottish units are the one that will lead the attack on the walls. We've got all the cannons right here with our new... Oh yes, I forgot. In the center as backup behind the cannons we've got the foot guards which is also in the unit that we haven't seen before. Let's see, maybe see through here where we can actually see how the uniform looks. Anyways, the plan is, now we've got a lot bigger calibers on our cannons to uh, quite quickly break down the uh, wall. We'll start off by breaking the edges because uh, those will open up quite big holes in this type of fort. And then the howitzers, which I actually noticed that there are six howitzers in each unit. Which means that I have 18 howitzers ready. And they also have an increased range. So they're almost just able to fire right in at the center. Which I think is going to lead to absolute massacre. And then we've got cannons and so forth. 
without further ado, let's go ahead and start it. This cannon will focus in on that side, and these two cannon units will focus in on that side. Then we'll use this um, harass shot to fire straight in towards the center, and this will cause utter devastation among the pirates. Here we fire. Maybe I shouldn't look this close because this might just turn into a crash if I'm not if I'm not uh, careful. Look at that. We just tore a line straight through all of that. Thing though is what we really need to be focusing on is the enemy Scott howitzers, don't they? And so we want to defeat those howitzers, and here's one of them. The other one's over there, so it's not firing right now. We're going to defeat this one first. And even so, we can't move forwards until we've broken a hole, uh, broken holes through the wall. So we can't advance until that point. I uh, so uh, we can take our time to pick out the howitzers and destroy these units. We're really setting fire to this and the building behind or in front, I should say. Still quite a few troops to man the cannons. We're not, well, we're doing quite a bit of damage, given that uh, the amount of cannons firing right now on the sides of the walls. Uh, since it, they doubled the uh, the uh, the size of the cannonball, I imagine they should double the uh, damage they do on the wall, which they seem to be doing. I want to make sure that this one goes away though so we can safely move up our troops it looks like the no it's not these guys that are being attacked by the howitzer who what unit is it then is are they actually firing at the cannons no it sounded like a shot went down here yes they're firing at the black watch but the black watch is just gonna have to wait with just a bit longer Right now, there's only three men left to uh, to man these cannons, these uh, mortars. This building is almost yeah, it's down to 50%. There's only one um, cannon firing there. Right, the thing is, we've got the cannons. Firing, oh, I, we've got them firing Karas shot, but I think if I switch to round shot, I should be able to hit the second mortar, which is down here. And we should be able to hit that and destroy that one as well. There we go. After destruction, switch to round shot. And then target this one and destroy it. Once that one's destroyed, we are safe to move up or safe ish I should say to move up and uh, hopefully by that time the walls will have been broken as well and so we are back it uh, lagged out for quite a bit but uh, now it seems to be working somewhat well I have started moving up I've moved up my main quite far and it seems as though once we contacted in melee, it fixed the problem with it lagging so badly. I thought that I would take a screenshot at the same time as I was uh, as it was lagging like that because I wasn't be really able to record any of it. See, we've got the uh, Royal Highland Grenadiers firing air volley style. Well, not volley style, but fire will style, where everyone fires at the same time. At the time. 
target. And as you can see, I've broken holes throughout the wall. The black watch fire the same way. And we also have the British Fusiliers firing on the men on the wall. And for what happened inside, well, I sort of had to slaughter all of these men. Or maybe it was the fact that I hit the cavalry and they actually started doing something. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, the cavalry is charging out. Well, I say cavalry, it's the, uh, the camel gunners charging headlong into the Royal Highland Grenadiers. No one's entirely sure here, but it says, let's see, da, 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 losing slightly. I don't think the uh, camel riders will actually stand up to my grenadiers. No, and they are shattered. So the grenadiers hold. And it's same all along the line. I'm not entirely sure how well it goes over here where we're uh, firing on the guys on the wall we have taken quite a few men out of them though when those are rather nice volleys being uh, sent towards the enemy Oh, this could be nasty. They're probably going to give up before they even get out there. Right, what I need to do is, of course, we need to set back. Let's go there and always, always. There we go. So I can now start ordering my men around. To actually take positions. Thinking maybe it would be good to at this point mobilize the cavalry and have them charge in and to break the stalemate and just swamp everything that's inside. Black watch fighting here in the open trying to open up this. There's not going to be enough men here to stop the uh, the cavalry onslaught that's coming. Plus, as you can see, these guys fall one by one rather quickly. It do is, doesn't seem as though it's going to take a lot before uh, the entire army of theirs collapse. Not entirely sure what the uh, howitzers are firing it right there because they're not hitting whatever they are aiming for. What we probably need to aim for is this unit right over here. So why do you howitzers not switch around shot? And then we'll target the biggest unit here. Let's see if we can destroy it. Right, the Highlanders have won the fight over here, so why do they not try to march up a bit closer? You know what? We can go inside, can we not? See how that goes. This one will go through as well. Oh, you know what? It might have been the fact that I've shot the gate to pieces. One thing that I... And the fighting along here seems to be going well. They have sent away the enemy over here, which means the Black Watch can go through. And we broke here as well, so this unit can go through. So right now we're sending through, tr through troops everywhere, and we can have one going in through the main gate. Interesting how this one elects to rather go through the hole that was right in front of it to go through the side and attack over here. The Howards seem to have hit the house instead of the unit. 
The Highlanders lose a few men. They still hold. And they are being reinforced by a unit that's only lost a single soldier. Thing is, I think these guys will shatter just as soon as they get out of the uh, out of the wall. Get outside the wall. You know what? Why don't we have this one march up, ready to fight these guys? And then this one can take the flank position instead. They're about to come into position so these guys can move to the flank. The enemy is coming up behind though. And send in this one quickly to sort of try to stop them. The, uh, let's see, the Black Watch trying to get through here. The Black Watch has managed to get through over here. What we'll do is we'll take this one, move like so. And you know what, the other one should stand next to it. Fight them! Give them the bayonet! And those camel riders won't go far. Single cannon units, or cannon crew soldiers, are marching through and getting slaughtered. Same with these guys that are now retreating through. What time to hold the cannons? There's no point in firing anymore because the castle has fallen. The fort, I should say. And there we have it victory, heroic victory at that. Very good, but as it most mostly is with the uh, the siege battles, they sort of lag out at some point. It's not that I really have a problem fighting them anymore, I wouldn't say. It's just that they um, they lag out and it doesn't... I mean, the frame rate drops to such a point where it's not really visually pleasing anymore. And that becomes more of a problem than anything else. Right, we probably need to send some cavalry or something to deal with these guys but otherwise this location is now safe how about the general and all his cavalry where is the other one there we have that one and then the hussars which should be three of them there we go so the general and his cavalry will move to secure the port while the army holds the fort and we'll go ahead and upgrade this and are there any villages here no they're not there's one over here but that and then there's one over there but that's about it um we don't have any moves to make against the cherokee so it's time to end the turn now i don't really know how long how much footage I managed to get out of that siege battle because I probably played it because of the lag and so on for more than 45 minutes at least but maybe I'm only able to use like 10 minutes of that that's sort of ish exciting which is um, not necessarily annoying because a 40 minute siege would not probably constitute a lot of fun because m most of that was just me sitting and waiting to the walls to be broken down but uh, it would have been nice if I could have gotten um, you know to play that without having the atrocious lag that it is in some sense I feel as though maybe having um, 
40 army units was not that much or wasn't that necessary because it seems to be causing um, a lot of problems having uh, that many units Let's see, Portugal, Venice, and so forth. Come on, get it done with. Oh, look, look at that. The Cherokee has an interesting strategy. Oh, what's this? Alexander Pope, gentleman, England. Very good. But what is he good at? He's a scholar, enlightenment technology. The thing is, I try to keep sort of the same ish characters in each well not what you w would want is to sort of stack the the ones that say the the ones that are doing so and so and so and so forth if you know what I mean so if you want army stuff you would stack the scholars that have the ability to improve on that so you would stack them in the same college in such improving that college or in this case modern university its ability to research that type of technology I'm not entirely sure about this I believe it's steam pump though so it's quite useful it will open up a lot of stuff for us um, and I'm not so sure about any of these things, really. What we need, though, what is it we actually... We need steam pump, actually. We need steam pump for the steam dry dock. And with the steam dry dock, we should be able, or we will be able, to recruit ships on the same level as that of the Ottoman Empire and the Ottoman Empire and the Portuguese which we have trouble with so we have a few things that need upgrading uh, we had one then Georgia need to make sure that all this gets upgraded which I think constituted the most of these unless there's yeah Florida 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 Georgia and so on so yeah that was all of it New port emerges. Ah, well, we need a trade port here so we can get uh, get the furs onto the ships and so on. And then we need to upgrade this some proper roads we can transport them all rather quickly. Same over here. Well, that would be. Let's see. Is there any more villages? Yeah, there's another village that can pop up so we'll um, we'll keep it as it is there natural causes a gentleman we don't have any gentlemen ah that's why it's taken so long to do anything down here and excavation of Herculaneum a new academic work is shedding light on the fascinating world of the antiquity. Da 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 da. What is it actually about? Um, uh, it is in anticipation that we complete completed the work. The work will extend to some 40 volumes, complete with n numerous copper plate engravings and illustration details within are an incredible wealth of ancient paintings from okay so it's um, yeah and I sort of understand what it is I hope you did as well um, I'm not gonna tell you of course I'm gonna tell you if you didn't catch that it, it seemed to be more of a uh, sort of a well 40 volumes of just collecting uh, all the information about these paintings and then of course uh, as it was drawing them so you get a uh, a full collection of it all 
with those 40 volumes. Right, how about we strike these guys first and make sure that the port is open. And then we can upgrade the port. We can uh, get these guys back in order. I should have replenished these guys beforehand. We... I'm not entirely sure. Do we need to hold this? The thing is, this area is Muslim. So, yeah, I think we need to hold this for a, for a little bit at least. Before we make our preparations to attack here. We have the navy here, which is ready, so that's good. Now, back to North America then. Which we need to make our advances here. We've got some forces here. But I think we can quite easily. One thing I noticed with the Queen's Rangers, they can move far. I think they can even move outpace. Yeah, they are even outpace the cavalry. Yes, so they can move very far. You will be two turns from attacking there. Why don't you go attack here? And you know what? Fighting the natives is not very fun. Yes, sir. So why don't I move like that, and now I've cut off those two units from regaining um, contact with the capital. And so the Cherokee, oh crap, I missed the fact that we had the Cherokee army over here. Where, oh, it's marched, can it, wait, where did it, oh, it marched through here. We'll have to rely on our allies then, no. We'll have to move the uh, skirmishers. Are the skirmishers enough to hold off on that? It would be nice if we could be close enough to fire upon the enemy from um, from the. But well, I guess the town of Savannah is not close enough to the sea for us to fire. Let's go ahead and enter. I imagine that um, I have enough. Oh yes. Oh crap. I forgot about that. We got a marksman, the uh, select marksman coming up. Spain. What does Spain do? Actually, Spain wanted me to trade. What was it? They wanted to trade. I can't remember exactly. It was some strange territory, or sort of in the middle of everything of theirs, somewhere, uh, against Florida. And they were going to give me, well, we're going to trade two regions against each other, and then they were going to give me, I believe they were going to give me um, uh, military access for 20 turns, which I don't really need, because I don't want to pass through their territory. Oh, let's see, what's this? Um, this is ab about, the thing is, I don't need, think I have time for a full battle, it's, and I think that, ooh, we should reinforce our ally, though. It is, oh, it is the 13, 13 colonies are attacking out ahead of the, you know what, let's see how much of this I can actually show. Because I think we need to fight them there, otherwise will sort of, you know, to be divided if we don't stand together. This army could probably take down Gis Gisbert Stark's army unless my reinforcements of the uh, Queen's Rangers arrive. And it's quite uh, fitting that it is the Queen's Rangers because we have currently a Queen in charge of England, Caroline I. But, um, yeah. 